hi everybody and we're um, welcome back to the channel um, what we're um, just going through today is there's an overhaul to on the Lambretta upgrade or even for a Vespa that matter if you're using a Nissan um, master cylinder what these kits are is a uh, if I just show you there in the part number it's basically a replacement that's the new one on the top where my finger is and the spring and that's the old one that I've taken out what it was doing was when you were holding the lever in sometimes it wouldn't come out and it looks like this uh, rubber here is is actually expanded if you look at the two of them uh, this is nice and um, like v-shaped the same as the back one the back one here is v-shaped but the front one's gone it's gone flat so i'm assuming that that's what's causing the issue with this so uh, <clears throat> what i've done is i've stripped it all down light is not very good unfortunately but uh, i've cleaned it all out with brake cleaner you can buy a brake cleaner pretty cheap spray it liberally in there clean out the tube if i can hold that up there you can see that it's basically a tube and like anything hydraulic it just works on the principles of a, of a gun really you're just firing so you've got fluid coming in here you're pushing on your lever which acts on this pin here pushes it in and obviously then or not obviously if it's not obvious to you then the fluid gets pushed out so it comes through that hole in the bottom there inside that way even you're pushing on your lever this way and it ejects the fluid out that way and then it that moves your slave cylinder clamping your brakes so it's quite hard to get out this circlip is very small and the kit comes with a, a washer so you must fit them on different type this hasn't got a washer on this one so all it's got is a filter which i've cleaned up that little beast there they can move them out of the way and the screws at the moment because all, all we're concentrating on is basically replacing that now i could have got just the seals and changed it um but it was just as cheap to buy the kit to be honest with you um i believe that came from buzz solar moto in um, halifax it was about five quid or something i don't know what they are now um, it's always worth having this kit around if you're running hydraulic anyway just like you'd have uh, brake discs and pads and what have you it just just saves uh, when you need to change anything basically messing around but um, what I'll do is I'll cut away I'm just going to put that spring it just screws in clips on the end and um, then I, I don't know if I'll just change the seals I'll see how this should be a like for like replacement and it does look exactly the same so i'll try this one first without the spring make sure it goes in and comes out okay and then i might use that one i did plan on using that one and not rebuilding this one so i'll just cut in i'm just going to try that basically in in there it should need a bit of brake fluid just to lubricate it it does seem like that's going to be spot on to be honest so i'll probably run with a new one i put some brake fluid in a little container what i'm going to do is just lubricate these seals just put a little bit on and then put a little bit in the the actual cylinder in there so we've got some lubrication can't do that with uh one hand unfortunately so uh, i'll cut away from there a sec until I lubricate and I'll cut back in showing you it lubricated right so I'll put some lubrication on the seals and I'll put some in the barrel and I'm just going to put a little bit more on there put a bit on the spring and basically what we're going to do is just push that in like that see that's already working a million times better than the last one did that's popping in and out the problem I've got now is I'm going to have to hold this in while I put the circlip on. Yeah, and the circlip goes in that way. Like 
like so and just hold if you look at the circle if I pull it back out again the circle clip itself is like got some little tabs on it so they actually act on stopping the piston from coming out so what I'm going to do is push it in and I'm just going to put a screwdriver in and push the circle clip into position I'll just bear with me a sec while I do that what I've done now is I've just put a lever on because the my thumb's getting a bit tired pushing that in it's not popping out but I um, we'll just want to make sure that that circle clip is in as far as it can go into that catch the little cut out area I have got a um, small screwdriver I'm just going to see if I can push it down any further because I'm not really happy with that it's hard to sort of show you what I'm doing but I'm literally going around the edge while it's not under any pressure the circlet and it, I can't push that any any more than it is and it's definitely it's it's in it just that doesn't look in very well you know but maybe that's how it looked originally you know I'd expect the uh, circlet to open up a bit more than that but it's not not popping out so the circle clip is in and that's you'd expect it to give way with that wouldn't you when it's in so it's definitely in like I say I can't push that any further than it is in So we can just assume that that's done. I'll undo the uh, lever again. There's a little rubber shroud that goes over there. I can show you it on this one. There's a little rubber shroud. Stops all the dirt getting into it. Other than that, I can't see it doing anything really. Because it wouldn't stop a leak coming out. I'm just all I'm doing now is just undoing the, the bolt holding the lever on and that's still in place the circlip's in place so if I can find the shroud which it should be on here somewhere I'd say should be um, the little filter nodule thing there that just pushes in there's a little cut out and it just pushes in place there like so <clears throat> just get a screwdriver and make sure it's home which it is I'm not actually sure what that actually does other than it's a you know it's a filter but uh, that's our bolt on the other end where the banjo goes on so you can your hope hydraulic pipe would come out of here that's a 14 I believe yep I'm just screwing that in like so and you've got a washer on either side of the banjo which I probably got one to show you what it looks like yeah. I'm just going to find the rubber boot a little dust cover for inside this side and I'll cut back in I just stood up and there's the beast so that just pops over there pushes in place screwdriver um, it might be prudent just to put a bit of brake fluid just on the run there so it will slide down. They don't really want it to look like it's leaking. Let's see if that will make it easier to put down. And on. Yeah. All you do then is just push the, the rubber outside bit in place with the 
blunt screwdriver if you've got one or one like I'm just using a small one and then that should just push in and seal like so you don't have to go mad with it it pushes in it's just rubber into a cut out uh, if you can actually see that on there I'm just going around the outside making sure it's in place which it is and you can see it looks nice and even I'm just going to give that a wipe and then if we put our lever back on temporarily and the bolt in there bolt back in the lever I'm not putting it all the way in because I'm just going to press it a few times And you can see it acting on the rubber and the rubbers not moving so that's basically how you overhaul a, a hydraulic master nissan i just need to get in there and give it a bit of a wipe where i put too much fluid on it and it can't leak yet because there's no fluid in it anyway but <clears throat> the two top parts here are the breather so you've got your rubber seal and your breather which is that plastic part which goes on top so what i tend to do is just use a bit of brake cleaner on the rubber that will do a little bit too much there but and just give it a wipe just gets rid of all any dirt that accumulates in them and that's why i flushed all that out with brake cleaner as well so that lever actually feels quite nice so your rubber seal goes in and you clean your breather what that does is it obviously when you're pushing you need to get some air in that the air takes up the space of the used fluid um, with hydraulic systems if you don't know the the fluid um, if it gets water will be go no good and air compresses where the fluid doesn't so I'm just giving that a, a quick clean. Oh, that's nice and clean as well. And we just stick that back in place. There's a little pinhole there for the air to come through. We'll put that back on there. And if you look on the sides of the lid, that's where the air comes through. I'll just give that a wipe and you want that facing you the right in and then we put our two screws in which should be there somewhere on top there they are stainless steel as always if you watch any of my videos you'll know i mad for stainless steel buy once fit once forget and then i just tighten that down hand tight and we've got an uh, overhauled master cylinder if you remember I put this on when I was putting it on the GP for the MOT and I wasn't satisfied with the way it was sticking at least now it's not going to stick I mean you can keep them parts and uh, just buy buy the new seals for it it's not not a big deal but you know we've got a nice new um, plunger there for the hydraulic and that is one overhauled Nissan master cylinder that lever actually belongs on this one so I'll stick it back on there and I'll put the, the uh, banjo bolt back on this one as well you don't have to over tighten this bolt it's an M10 10 mil spanner and just literally just screw it through and then you've got a locking nut on the bottom i've not never seen a washer on these which i don't know why maybe they just don't come loose but you would think they'd have some kind of uh you know a locking washer on them and we just 
do that so it's nice and easy and just put on the locking bit without putting your finger in the uh, fluid just do up that nut on the bottom like so that goes back in there I always think it's amazing how much fluid is uh, held in these. You know, you think you've drained it down. This has been off the bike probably about a week now. And it's still using the uh, brake fluid out of it. So, bike when they're built with the lever. And that's what they look like without the lever. Thanks for watching and catch me on the next.